What's going on everybody Z here and welcome back to some more No Man's Sky. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. Today's video is going to be a look back and a journey over the course of No Man's Sky because obviously the No Man's Sky that we have today is not the No Man's Sky that we had at release and I am so excited to, uh, to, to say that this video is actually sponsored by Hello Games. So huge shout out to them for sponsoring this video. Um, obviously links down below if you want to check out some No Man's Sky for yourself. I highly recommend it. But anyways, let's get on and let's start at the beginning shall we so originally when this game first came out i was actually not playing myself um i picked it up about six months after it came out and i started right around the foundation update my first videos did not start until the pathfinder update so um the foundation update is actually what got me into the game as a player because i enjoyed the base building aspect of it now at this time, I also had not been really following a whole lot with No Man's Sky, um, so I didn't really know about the um, the media of it, if you will, of its initial release. So I hopped in during the Foundation update, absolutely loved it. I've loved it from the beginning, I loved it from when I started playing it, because I didn't follow any of the, the hype trains or anything like that. I loved it since the beginning, and I, I've said that in all of my videos. If you want to go back, you can check them out. I loved it. It, it, it was a good time. So, the Foundation update got me interested into the game and then the pathfinder update came out and that was after i started doing youtube so that was actually my first video was the pathfinder update of no man's sky oh my gosh such a good time so the pathfinder update it is what added the um the specialization of the the ships so like the fighter the shuttle the hauler the explorer um it added the different variety of ships um it also added a permadeath mode which if you want to hate yourself i guess go for that um it added base sharing it added planetary vehicles so we had the um the nomad we had the roamer the colossus um, more customizations for the bases and also I want to say now that as these updates go along there's always visual and gameplay uh, performance increases I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about those a whole lot because um, the game just gets better over time obviously so um, and then it also added photo mode which is huge for content creators like myself because it gave us the ability to take pictures and it actually gave the the, the community also um, the ability to take these amazing pictures and oh, they just look so good breathtaking breathtaking photos so shortly after the pathfinder update came out um atlas rises comes out so that is what introduced a new story um i'm just gonna i i'm i'm, I'm kind of talking about these updates and i'm just kind of hitting the top things for me personally that i really enjoyed um about the game now it might be a little bit different to you i might miss something that you really enjoyed um, but this is again this is this is what i enjoyed this is what what i remember playing and this is what i remember of these updates so that's kind of what it is so the atlas rises update right new story um it added a new storyline and added new progression it added um the wealth and economy and conflict levels that you see in your systems now this is pretty cool um it added the crashed freighters that you find on the ground and it added most importantly i think i think there's a few very important things that these early updates gave us it added portals so before this there was no portals uh, there's no portal system so now we have portals which is awesome it's fantastic these portals um allowed people to come together the portals allow people to come together and play together um it allows you to go anywhere in the no man's sky world as long as you have the portal coordinates and it allows you to uh just to play with other people if you're wanting to do that or if you're just wanting to check out other people's bases um because i mean no man's sky right it it gives you a, a huge galaxy galaxy to explore um filled with like unique planets life forms um things like that you're constantly in danger but there's also like this beauty in the world that you want to share in these portals make that happen these portals can these you can just go anywhere with them so that was a huge thing um for for this now the portals were also a little limited at the time so um we're gonna we're gonna touch back on that later so now we're gonna fast forward we're gonna fast forward into no man's sky next um no man's sky next introduced a full multiplayer experience that was the biggest drawback i think for a lot of people for the longest time was that there was no full multiplayer experience so now no Man's Sky next comes out full multiplayer experience. I am a solo player. I'm a single player person. So this wasn't a huge thing for me, but I know it's such a huge thing for a lot of people. I had to absolutely, I had to absolutely mention it. Um, it also gave us more base building. It gave us um, the ability to command our, uh, our freighter armadas. Uh, we could send the frigates on the fleet missions, which now is super important. So we'll talk about that too. Why that's so important. Why this is, this is a good stepping stone for it. But, um, it was a huge, it was, it was the next update. It was a huge update. It just added a whole bunch of things for everybody to do. Um, and at this point in the game, like there's also something for everybody. You got building, you got crafting, you got exploration, you have, you know, space combat, you have planetary combat, you have all kinds of things. It's fantastic. And now with the multiplayer update, update, um, you can truly go out and find 
these things with your friends whereas before like i said um the portals were a little bit limited you could see stuff but you couldn't see other players really uh, well now you can go with other players you can go see them you can go do all the stuff um and it, it's pretty cool it's pretty cool it's a good time um so then i we, we got the abyss update which i have to talk about just a little bit because we got the the new exocraft the nautilin um i like the update as a whole but that was basically the biggest thing for me um it was cool checking out everything underwater but the nautilin was a much needed exocraft for underwater because underwater was always interesting and i always felt like underwater was the place that you could use the exocraft the most so beyond that, we get the visions update. Um, this is where we get new planetary biomes. We get new worlds, new fauna, new flora, um, just a whole bunch of different types of things. Um, and we also get one of the big things, storm crystals. Storm crystals were added here, which are really good because that is your fuel. Oh my gosh, you make storm crystals with your uh, with your warp, warp fuel and you get the warp cores. Oh, yes, so storm crystals, awesome. Um, I, I don't know if that, that recipe at the time was a thing, but like, huge update huge recipe update i love it it's fantastic thank you so much for the storm crystals um but the visions update a lot of graphical in uh you know improvements things like that so beyond that <laughs> we get the beyond update update 2.0 uh, this is a huge update so like there was so much in this update i'm gonna i'm gonna briefly just talk about like what this update was update 2.0 beyond massively expanded the multiplayer experience um Took immersion to a whole new level with fully fledged virtual reality so if you're in vr um you you knew you now had fully fledged virtual reality um base building overhaul npc's technology trees much much more so this is where this is where people really really got their first like vr support um and this is also where people started playing with more players because you went from like i think four to eight players on console and from four to 32 players on pc which is huge also the missions and tutorials were revised to i believe what they are today to make the early game um very easy very focused to teach new players the mechanics of the story and the mechanics of the game um and then it also introduced the um the tech tree which is amazing it's so much better than what it used to be because used to it used to be kind of complicated how to unlock stuff um, but the new tech tree is amazing and then you also were able to tame creatures and then you could ride them which was cool it was neat it was fun it was fun all right who who didn't have fun riding creatures around um, this also added a base power and probably my favorite thing, the industrial buildings. So this is where we started getting our indium farms, activated indium farms, cadmium, um, all the, all the farms that you can build, all the machines that you can build now that you can do in, in the industrial stuff. This is where we got it. The beyond update 2.0. Absolutely fantastic because i personally love the industrial building stuff um i enjoy the base building the industrial building i think it's a fantastic time it's a good time i thoroughly enjoy it so um after that because like that was a huge update um that was actually that was also when the space anomaly got transformed so the space anomaly used to be something completely different and then it became the nexus which essentially became the hub for everybody so um that is when that change happened and that was a huge change a very very well very good change um that was <laughs> very key to how they're doing everything now so um there was a lot of pre-planning here and like a lot of these updates that added certain features that were later heavily utilized is uh it's very interesting it's very cool to see see how they were done so um along with like a plethora of other things we are going to move into the synthesis update so the synthesis 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 update um this gave people the ability to upgrade their starships um so we can increase the inventory slots um it also gave people this the option to salvage starships which let's face it lots of people make lots of money in the game salvaging starships we knew that we know that everybody does it it's a thing um and then it also gave us new terrain editing modes so before it was just kind of like you know blast the terrain and that was it well then we get the uh, we get the flatten mode and we get the other modes in there so it makes a uh, it makes it a little bit easier to do some you know some some terrain editing so you can get your base how you like it um this also gives some uh inventory management more storage it increased the amount of storage in our um big storage lockers the base the the placeable ones it increased the amount of storage in there by a lot um and then it also gave us a personal refiner so like all huge things the next update that i want to talk about is probably is probably maybe one of my favorite updates um and that is actually the living ship update so this update gave us the living ship and i love the living ship i know i know a lot of people don't a lot of people didn't typically like the living ship prior to the most recent update and i'm going to talk about i'm going to talk about why um but i loved the living ship because one it was really cool it was really neat it was really different it was really alien and then also the materials used to refuel um say your your warp fuel your launch thruster fuel 
anything like that your shields it was all basic resources so it was also super easy to have, just have on hand and i absolutely loved it and i think they're really cool really neat and not a lot of people had them um and it took a little bit of work to get them um initially because you had to like you know go through the mission do the egg and all that stuff so i really really love the living ships and they've, it's always been my favorite ship ever since this update so living ship update <laughs> it's kind of a it's kind of my favorite thing so um after that we get the exo mech update so this is where they first added the exo mech um the introduction of the exo mech i believe it was the introduction of the exo mech this is not where they gave you the ability to have it automated this is just where you could use it and utilize it for planetary exploration things like that and um or actually you know what yeah 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 that's what it was for i'm so can, yeah, lots of, there's been a lot of updates here. All of these updates, which are free, is insane. This entire time you bought No Man's Sky, you get all these updates for free, which is absolutely insane. Um, so introducing the XMX, which is cool, but in itself, like I didn't use it a whole lot, but we're gonna we're gonna touch later onto why the introduction the introduction of the XMX was important. Um, so the next update we had after that was crossplay update. I um, have to talk about this because a lot of people really enjoyed the crossplay update. A lot of people were able to play with friends that they hadn't been able to play with. Um, again, I play solely, I play multi, I play, I play solo for the most part. So a lot of these things didn't really apply to me, but huge for, for everybody that, uh, that didn't have their friends on the same platform that wanted to play with them. Um, the next major update, desolation update that I think we got the, the best things we got out of this. We got the derelict freighters. You got, we got to explore them and we got freighter upgrades out of those. It, it's, it, it was fun. It's fun going through, you know, killing the little things in there and finding the stuff. But it's those upgrades that you're truly after um and that gave us that gave us the ability to do that and then the desolation update also gave us the ability for the freighter teleporter which was also huge because a lot of people at the time were using the freighters as their main base um and then after that we get the origins update which <laughs> origins update again is a huge update that's update 3.0 dramatically increased the um the universe of no man's sky um stranger richer more varied universe uh planetary diversity dramatic new terrain host of new creatures new weather conditions colossal buildings much more um so we got new planets we got new multi-star systems uh, we got the colossal archive buildings we got firestorms and volcanoes and then this is where we go back to that portal that portal update Re remember this is where portal interference was removed so before prior to this update you could teleport anywhere you wanted to and you could look at things there however there was portal interference so you couldn't do you could only do uh, so much right and then you would have to leave and go back to your um you have to go back to your your place well they removed it so now you can leave and now you can build your base now you can just take a portal and then go explore from there whereas before that really wasn't a thing because you had portal um interference you couldn't warp anywhere if you tried to pull up the warp map it would say there's interference detected or whatever so very cool this is where that portal really became crucial um, it really allowed people to go places and do things and get from one galaxy, one, one side of the galaxy to the other. It was absolutely, it's huge. Origins update, huge. Um, then we get the next generation update. That is during the release of the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. And that basically gave, you know, console players a whole bunch of new stuff. This is, this is all like the same time that, that those came out. So we got new graphics. Um, PC got ultra graphics, I think at the same time and for consoles consoles were now up to 32 players as well because they were at eight before capped and now i believe they went up to 32 so that was a huge update for consoles and pc i guess we got ultra graphics so pretty cool pretty cool um companion update companion update was cool it was neat and everybody was excited about it but the, i mean in in <laughs> i mean in actuality it, it was kind of it's cool it's neat if you wanted like pokemon kind of thing like you could you kind of had them because you could like get like six <laughs> um and they're really cool to like ride around stuff but as far as utilitarian wise um they're just neat it was just kind of a fun thing to uh to get so um and then we move into the expeditions update which also might be one of my top favorite updates um i don't know if i can count this as one update but i want to talk about the expeditions as a whole i think what the expeditions do as a whole give players a reason to continue playing and keep coming back to no man's sky um with the expeditions with the introduction of a new expedition every every month every few months whatever it gives something new for players to do and of recently like um similar to so, so like the the last one of the last most recent expeditions was a like a roguelite type thing a roguelite 
where if you died you lost everything but then you kind of came back and you kind of got like some upgrades along the way um and it, it just changed like how you played the game um and it just it made for a really good time and i think that was an absolutely amazing idea and i think they're going to keep coming out with expeditions um i wouldn't see why not and i think it's going to constantly give us something to do so we had the first four and then we got the first four on repeat um and now we are working into our next set of four and i'm hoping that we're going to get our next set of four on repeat because i have been slacking and i've missed like all of them i know i'm terrible i'm horrible so um, i'm not gonna talk about each individual expedition because they're all great they're all fantastic um but i highly recommend playing the expeditions when they're available because it gives you something completely new something completely fun to do all right so now we're getting close we're getting close to modern day here we're getting we're getting towards the pinnacle of what no man's sky is today and by this point it's a huge game it's awesome people love it um people are saying you know this game made a, a complete 180 it turned around did everything great i again i i enjoyed it from the from the beginning but i'm definitely glad that they added the things that they did otherwise I, we wouldn't be playing it today so after the expeditions we get the frontiers update which i think was also a great update that be, that allowed allowed us to become the overseer of our own um own little civilization it's fantastic so now there's like a little bit of like you know colony management here like city building oh it's so cool like they just keep adding more and more to the game it's such a good update i love it absolutely love it and i just i think that's such a fun thing to do um you can just spend so much time sitting there messing with your like mess messing with your settlement um people i already know people that build their bases around their settlements things like that it's just such a cool idea and it was it was a very neat update i really like that and i think it's a lot of fun um and then from there because with the settlement update we also um have to deal with like our settlements right and things happening with our settlements so shortly after that we get the sentinel update the sentinel update gave us a huge overhaul on combat um for, uh visual and mechanical like how how combat worked um it gave us new sentinels to fight it gave us new weapons and it gave us the ability to make the um the sentinel hard frame mech make our mech suit automated to fight by our side so this was really cool because it gave us uh the combat was a little lackluster to be honest um it had been lackluster this whole time so this this combat update was was huge it was absolutely huge uh, made things a lot more fun a little more spicy if you will and made you had to prepare um you had to prepare for things and there i mean we also got shields we also got like um active camo so we could cloak ourselves it was just it's such a good time uh, that that update was fantastic as well um and then we move in to the outlaws update so this update right here this is the first time that i was like you know what i'm gonna put my living ship away because i've been playing with my living ship this entire time the outlaws update was the first update where i was like you know what we got the new solar sail ships and i loved them they were gorgeous gorgeous looking ships so i got out a solar sail ship we found the one we found the red s class one that i wanted and we upgraded it we improved it we did all the things and all the stuff so this outlaw update obviously if you don't know you haven't been around this added the outlaw stations this added the smuggling this added um squadrons so you could have npcs as squadrons. so if you're playing like solo like me i could call a squadron and um and they could help me fight this added in atmospheric combat um this gave us the ability to have nine ships instead of just six for us collectors um i could go with a whole bunch more honestly i could probably have hundreds of ships uh <laughs> and collect them all um this also gave us the improved space combat um the outlaws update did um basically in space what the what the sentinel update did for the ground right it it overhauled the the, the combat in space and oh, such a good time so yeah this is where i ditched uh I, I parked i parked my living ship and i i set sail with the solar ship and it was hard but it was it was good it was fun um and then we move on to the endurance update the endurance update is our current update and while the solar sail ship was good for the one update that i played it i'm now back to the living ship and that is because they gave us the ability to upgrade the living ships um so they they gave us the living the organic frigates in this update and with those they can go out on missions and then come back and bring upgrades for our living ships so while the solar sail ship replaced me for a little bit it didn't last very long because of now i'm back to the note the living ship because of the endurance update the endurance update um was was the focus of the freighters so now your freighter can all ultimately become your base um you can grow plants in your base you can have all your storages you can have your teleporters you can walk outside of it you can build catwalks you can do all kinds of things 
absolutely phenomenal update um and like i said it also gave us the organic frigates and um it also gave us like space storms and things like that but yeah i always loved living on the freighter because i always you just go from place to place to place you don't have to worry about anything so um having this update made ugh, it was such a huge update because you can make your freighter feel so much bigger you can make it feel like it was you know a grand capital freighter like it was supposed to be and then with the organic frigates like i again i love the organic ship I love the the like the organic uh, spaceship, so like obviously I'm gonna love the organic frigates. And now that we can upgrade them, oh, oh, I'm back to loving my living ship. So, um, yes. And then though that so th this this was my journey through No Man's Sky. These these are the things that I really liked. Um, I went through every update and I really tried to figure out what what it was to me that stood out. There were some updates that I didn't even talk about. There were some updates in there that we just kind of like skimmed over um but these updates are what made no man's sky what it is today um it is absolutely fantastic so i again like i can't i cannot recommend it enough if you don't have if you are looking for a spacey survival game pick up no man's sky you're not gonna be disappointed it's available on playstation pc um xbox like i said you get all major updates since the launch you can play with your friends you can play solo you can play with random people if you want to um, there's building, crafting, exploration, survival, combat, um, everything. There's so much in the game to do. It's such a good time. Now, um, again, if you are interested, hit the link down below. Um, again, this video is sponsored by Hello Games, so they're going to check this video out. But, oh my gosh, it's been such a fantastic time. I have enjoyed every minute of playing No Man's Sky, and I look forward to enjoying every minute of playing it going forward. Um, and I cannot wait to see what the future holds for No Man's Sky because personally, I am at the point where I don't know what else they could add to the game to make it better. But for some reason, somehow they keep doing it. Somehow they keep it coming out with these updates that are completely mind blowing. That completely add something. It's just like, oh my gosh, yes, I needed that. And you didn't even realize you needed it. So, um, but leave your comments. Let me know what was your favorite update in No Man's Sky. Leave a comment down below. I'm curious. I want to see what your favorite update was and why. Um, I'd love to read through them. I'd love to see what you what you, what you all had to say about this, but That is gonna end it. Thank you all so much for coming out Hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you leave a like if you're new here Maybe consider subscribing as well for some more and I'll see you in the next one Bye everybody <laughs>